Recent leaks and media coverage may have given you the impression that ID cards are about to be dumped. I'm afraid nothing could be further from the truth. Inside Parliament, in a battle that's taken so far almost two years, a general election and now three Home Secretaries, the government have managed to force through a piece of legislation that is not only their widest attack on civil liberties to date, but that represents a fundamental shift of power between the citizen and the state. The people inside here are not our masters. They are public servants, accountable to all of us. Something that this government seems to have forgotten in its pursuit of its ever more authoritarian agenda. Even during the course of No to ID's battle, they have made it illegal for people to protest outside Parliament. Something that people have had the right to do for many hundreds of years. Imagine how much harder it will be for your children, for your grandchildren, to express dissent, to even a, an alternative opinion if they're being tracked and monitored by the authorities throughout their lives. We're not just fighting for an abstract principle here. We're fighting for freedom. Freedoms which were hard won, and which we've had for so many years now that many seem to have forgotten that they've got them in the first place. We're fighting for a healthy democracy, for private citizens to be just that, and to keep universal surveillance the stuff of sci-fi films, not everyday reality. Up until now, most of the action of the campaign has been taking place in the Houses of Parliament. No to ID has lobbied politicians and built alliances with MPs and peers of all parties in fighting the ID Cards Bill, now an act. But we're located just a stone's throw away behind the International Maritime Organisation building over there. Our office, which remains the centre of national operations, is paid for entirely by membership, subscriptions and donations. My identity is mine. I decide who I trust with my most personal or private information. I'm a responsible, law-abiding, tax-paying British citizen who doesn't need the government controlling and sharing my personal data monitoring my every move or transaction, or telling me who I am. 